How's it going, guys? This is JTW Effects Studio here with a um, muzzle flash slash color correction little tutorial. It's a little double feature. So obviously, first thing you want to do is open up After Effects, and once you got all your footage imported, go ahead and drag in your base footage into the new composition button right here. Obviously, let's take a look at our footage right here. This is a shot from uh, our latest video, I Got You. This is where Seb is speaking out from behind the car and fires it a few times. So that's the type of muzzle flash we're going to take a look at here. It's going to be where the gun is actually in front of the muzzle flash. But first, let's get to the color correction part. So once you have your footage, and make sure it is obviously selected, go into Effect, Color Correction, and Curves. Here you have your different channels. You have RGB, Red, Green, Blue, and Alpha. You start with the RGB. You want to take it at this little first square corner and move it up just slightly. Obviously, you can see it got brighter. Take it at this other little corner and move it so it's kind of like in the shape of an S. As you can see, it made it darker and have it made it have more of a sharper kind of tone to it, and really enhances the shadows and the highlights. Now you can do this to whatever your heart desires basically. And just do the same for the other ones. You can see the colors really being enhanced every time you do it. Not the green. Your parents will probably like this one. It'll make their grass look greener. There you go. Obviously it's got more of a kind of darker kind of tone to it. Obviously, let's look back at look back at what it looks like without and with color correction. So that's a little color correction tu tutorial. I exit out of that panel. Now we get to the muzzle flashes. To create a muzzle flash with the gun in front of it, you're gonna find the frame where the gun starts to blow back, which for me is like right there. So you're gonna duplicate the base layer by hitting Command D or if you're on a PC, control D. And then you're gonna drag it so it's one frame long. Then you can hit G to bring out your mask tool. And you're gonna mask out the whole shape that's in front of the muzzle flash. Obviously. Now a thing to point out, say your person is holding the gun as my person is holding right here, where his arms are kind of like, I can't explain it, but there's a little opening, obviously, where the muzzle flash could be seen. Obviously, mask around it. I'm sure I didn't even have to say that because it's obvious. Sometimes you don't even have to mask out the whole thing, depending on how big the gun is and everything. Yeah, almost done here, sorry. It can be a little rough, it doesn't really matter. Once you have that whole masked shape, go in and hit, hit V to bring back the select tool. Go in and drag your muzzle flash in between the two shapes. As you can see, now the gun is in front of the muzzle flash. Drag it to the same frame. Uh, have to drag it out a little bit. So it's one frame. Oh, I'll double click. Right in there. Set the blending mode on at the screen, as you usually would. And now, oh, it's in front. The gun is in front. Yes. So, obviously, maximize it. One thing to remember is muzzle flashes, they're big, they're not small little things. Drag it in, resize it to the correct points. That's about right. I like my muzzle flash, it's big. Then go ahead and drag in your smoke. I got this smoke from NC Cinema's gun pack. Best smoke, in my opinion, ever recorded. Just got the sparks and everything, makes your gunshots look 
hundred percent better. Make sure it fits in the rest of the footage. That's good. Then do the same as you did with the muzzle flash, set the blending mode to screen, maximize it, put it in, and you got your muzzle flash. Let's go ahead and play it, let it render out. Get a little RAM preview. So I can hear the sound too. Oh, totally forgot about that sound. <laughs> My god. So I got the G18 sound right here. I really like to layer my sounds. Like, I'll get maybe two or three sounds just for one gunshot. In the words of Freddy W, the best sounds are built. 10 points for anybody who can. Anybody who knows what video that's from of his. And that's your muzzle flash. Thanks guys, this has been a tutorial from JTW Effects Studio. One more shot of the muzzle flash. Check out all my other videos because there's going to be a lot more coming soon. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Later, guys.